In our health alert tonight, a new study finds that every 10 minutes a child heads to the emergency room because of medicine poisoning. It's a scary statistic that may be hard to wrap your head around, which is why we brought in Dr. Parth and Annie to explain why this keeps happening, doctor. The good news is that this report by Save Kids Worldwide found ER visits for children six and under had reduced by 32%. Now, while I'm happy to hear that, there were still 52,000 kids rushed to the hospital because they got into medicines that were not for them. So why is this happening? Well, the study sat down with parents to find out. Turns out many of them didn't think of medicine safety as a top priority when it came to childproofing their home. But at the same time, parents felt that they are already storing medicine safely. So why then are kids getting into medicines? Well, apparently there's a difference between storing medicine and keeping medicine. When parents said they stored medicine, they meant long-term storage and placed them high and out of a child's sight, like in a closet or a cabinet. But more importantly, frequently used medicine, often taken on a daily basis, was actually kept in more convenient locations, like a purse, diaper bag, counter, or nightstand. Now, researchers also found that too many parents are underestimating how quickly their child acquires new skills. They're waiting for little Susie, for example, to, to crawl first before placing baby gates at the stairs. And when you combine this with medications located in convenient locations, well, you quite possibly have created a ticking time bomb. So what can you do? Well, I have my prescriptions today. First, know that your child's curiosity will lead them to investigate all kinds of places. So keep your medications and vitamins up high and out of sight long before they learn to crawl or walk. Now secondly, keep the poison help number on your fridge and as a contact in your phone. That number is 1-800-222-1222. So very important. And lastly, talk to your babysitters, family and friends about medicine safety, especially if a child stays at someone else's home. It's important to not underestimate how drugs and vitamins can affect young kids. Sometimes it only takes one pill to kill a child and you don't want to accidentally leave a medicine bottle in an unsafe location the day your child surprises you with a newly, newly learned skill. For 7 Action News, I'm Dr. Partha Nandy. Some important information. All right, doctor, thank you. And if you have a question or a health concern for the doctor, you can email him. Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or be sure to send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.